citizens. They're your typical, well-behaved, law-abiding, God-fearing American family. They love each other, and they love their country. And this is Timmy. He's a good boy who does his chores and always listens to his mother and father. But he's about to make a terrible mistake. Timmy got out on the left side of the car. You know what we call people who go to the left. That's right. Communists. And let that be a lesson to you, children. Don't be like Timmy. Always get out on the right side of the car. Because right is right. This is Sally. She's made a science project. She thinks it's the bee's knees, and she just can't wait to show it to her class. But she's about to make a terrible mistake. By taking too long to unload her project, Sally has blocked the way of the other drivers. Look at how unhappy they are. Sally's father should have parked in the visitor spaces. Sally's science project is very good. Someday, she might help a very smart man make a very important scientific discovery. And by parking out of the way of her fellow Americans, she takes the first step in making life better for us all. Johnny is very excited to see his friends today. He can't wait to talk with them about what happened last night on their favorite television show. But he's about to make a terrible mistake. Johnny got out of the car too early. He didn't wait his turn. He was greedy. Do you know what we call people who don't wait for fortune to favor them and simply take what they want? That's right. Communists. Learn from Johnny's mistake. Don't get out of the car too early. Betty is a devoted wife and loving mother. She's here to drop off her two children, Billy and Susie, who she loves almost as much as she loves her country. But she's about to make a terrible mistake. Betty listened to some of that devilish rock and roll music our young folk are listening to these days. She got distracted. Not only did she not move forward when it was her turn, but she also didn't hear the siren telling her the atomic bomb was coming until it was too late. Don't do what Betty did. Stay alert when it's your turn to pull forward. are the Johnsons. They enjoy shuffleboard and milk. But Mr. Johnson is about to make a terrible mistake. Mr. Johnson didn't use the three drop-up lanes properly. The back of his car blocked other drivers. He took up more space than he should have. Do you know what we call people who take more than they're given and halt the progress of others? That's right. Communists. Now Mr. Johnson's children have a communist for a father. However will they survive? Don't let this happen to you. Use the drop-off lanes properly. Harold thinks he's pretty all right. He takes his son to ball games. He reads the newspaper to keep himself informed of world events, and he has learned his lesson from our other friends today. But what's this? Harold didn't pull all the way forward to the crosswalk. He's left space in front of his car. Doesn't he know what's going to fill that space?